hi you guys welcome back to my channel welcome to a tell me more episode so i'm bringing back the wines and the cocktails for tell me more but i'm trying to make it work you guys okay i'm really trying to make it work so today we're going to start off with trader joe's wine this is called this is called Mm, yeah, no, because I can't pronounce shit, but it's a Sauvignon Blanc. I love a good white wine. I rarely drink red wines. Um, I'm no expert either, so please, ASMR. I mean, I'm just going to pour a little. I mean, I'm going to drink it because I bought it, but... Ooh, it smells, it smells nice. Okay, do a little twirl. I've learned a thing or two while going wine tasting. That smells nice. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Very light. Not really bitter. Very fruity and tarty. It's going down pretty smooth. I need to add an ice bucket to my Amazon list because, you know, she needs to like chill in something while we talk. So today's topic, we have a friend who doesn't know quite what to do because she doesn't like her best friend's boyfriend. Um, she has her reasonings. I think her reasonings are quite valid. So what do you do when you're hanging out with your friends? You get snacks and you get wine and you sit around and eat. So today we're doing snacks, but honestly, next time it could be an in and out meal for all I know. Okay. So that's what we're doing today. I got my hands on the Trader Joe's spicy tempera seaweed snack, which if you guys saw my last Trader Joe's video, this was amazing. Like amazing. I also got their version of the Takis, which is rolled corn tortilla chips and chili and lime flavor. And it's so good. I also kind of prefer it because the Takis, I love Takis, don't get me wrong, but sometimes, just sometimes, the powder is so deadly. I kind of like that this one is a little more subtle and not like going for the kill. Okay, now that we have everything set up, I'm gonna go into my Instagram because I did ask you guys on Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Instagram if you guys want to be a part of the input. So I posted a poll today and I said, would you tell your BFF that you hate, hate their significant other? There were three options to choose between. And the one coming up at the top is 64% of you said it really depends. You are my kind of people. It really does depend. I feel like it depends on so much. It depends on why do you not like him? Did he do something? Did your friend do something? Did he do something to you or, you know, all these different things. It really does depend. But some of you are very like, I know exactly how I feel. 23% of you said always, like no matter what you're going to tell him. And 14% of you said not my business. And you know what? All of those are very valid. It depends. You're going to tell your bestie because you're always on bestie side and it's not my business. So with that, I'm going to go straight into the emails. Okay. Okay. Hi, Michelle. I need friendship advice. I have a friend that I am very close with. I would go as far as to say we are like sisters. We grew up together and have been friends for over 25 plus years. That's a very long time. 25 years. Kim and I are coming up on our 10 year. I mean, I've had friends that were like 15 plus years. And actually, there's a friend of mine who I have known since, hold on, we were in first grade when we met. So that was 2000. So 24 years. Oh my gosh. Wow. But 25 years is a very long time. Okay. For reference, we are hitting our 30s this year. Okay. So you guys are childhood best friends. I know her family. She knows my family. She was one of my bridesmaids. You get the picture. So about two years ago, she started dating this guy who she has been friends with since college. She's always had a major crush on him since, but they never got together until a little less than two years ago. They've recently moved in together, and I know that she loves being with him. My dilemma is I've never expressed to her how I don't approve of him and don't know how to bring it up. If I should even bring it up, and to make matters more complicated, they recently moved in together. Okay, okay. Before I sound like the worst friend in the world, I'd like to explain and give context. My friend is truly like a sister to me. I want her to be happy, but I also don't want her to be taken advantage of. 
Uh-oh. I also know she's a grown adult and can make her own decisions, but I feel that as a close friend, I can't help but feel protective and want the best for her. I feel that because she's had a crush on him for so long, she does whatever it takes to make him happy and for them to stay together. Oh, okay. I'm starting to I'm I'm starting to get the picture. I get it. I get it. They began their relationship in a friends with benefits manner. This went on for a few months. She confided in me often during this time, frustrated that she felt he was ashamed to be with her. Ashamed? Sorry, (laughs) I'm like giving my commentary as I go. So here are some examples. Deny that they're seeing each other publicly. Ouch. Avoid seeing her at the workplace. Ouch. Do they work together? Telling her he didn't see her that way. See her that way. Etc. Ooh. Those are pretty bad. Those are those are pretty bad. Once they started officially dating, she would also express to me how she was frustrated that he would disrespect her time. Mm-mm. I don't stand for nobody disrespecting nobody's time. I may not do a lot with my time, but my time is very precious to me. He would often cancel on her last minute, strike one, not walk her home after dates to make sure she was safe. They lived a few blocks away in the city, strike two, not answer her texts days at a time, etc. That's strike three. And strike three is pretty hardcore. And this is while they're together. He also showed very little interest in getting to know me, which rubbed me the wrong way initially, as I'm one of her good friends. He had also been invited to multiple group outings with our friend group and always had an excuse not to come. The first time we actually did meet, he asked me little to no questions. And it felt like pulling teeth to try to have a conversation. I don't know when things clicked for them, but they recently decided to move in together and she's been over the moon since. There's more. I just really need a sip before I continue because wow. Okay. When you love someone, you want to give it unconditionally. So for her to be giving him her all, I understand why she does what she does. But it's sad to see her give this man her everything when I feel that he gives her the bare minimum in return. I feel that she also sacrifices and denies her wants slash needs for him. For example, she would always talk about marriage slash wedding slash kids since she was little. But she denies that she ever had an interest in it after dating him. Who told her he has no interest in marriage since he comes from a broken family. She also does all the chores around their place. She washes, folds his laundry, does the dishes, cleans the entire apartment, etc. What the frick does he do? Does she work? Does he work? Does she work? Or is he like the money maker here? Another factor to add is that her family is also not accepting of him. Oh my God, especially her parents. The reasons I've given are truly only scratching the surface as to why I feel the way I do. Oh my God, that's scratching? Stop it. What do I do? Should I just be happy for her and remain silent? When is it ever the right time to comfort her if I do? I feel that it's sad that I'm tiptoeing around confronting her considering the long friendship we have, but I guess that's precisely why it's hard. I don't want to make her upset and put a thorn in our friendship. I understand that. But more importantly, risk losing her as a close friend for telling her something she might not be ready to hear slash want to hear. Thanks in advance for the advice. Thank you so much for writing in your email. If you are commenting, make sure you're being kind and thoughtful. If you are mean to me or the person who has written to us, you will get blocked. I just, I, yeah, you know how it goes. Okay, I need another swig. Okay. Hmm. What do I do? What do they do? Hmm? What do they do? Okay. So I've gone through a fair share of friendship dilemmas. Um, let's see. Okay. I've had different stages of like sisterhood like friendships. I think in my lifetime, I've like seriously had two friendships where they are like truly sisters to me. And I'm trying to think if, I'm trying to think what I would do in that kind of situation. You know what? I'm going to go through all of it because there's just actually so much to it. (sighs) Hold on. What do I do? Should I just be happy for her and remain silent? When is it ever the right time to confront her? If I do, I feel like it's sad that I'm tiptoeing it. 
around confronting her considering the long friendship we have but I guess that's okay I don't I don't think that it's sad that you're taking time to yourself to oh this is so hard this is actually really hard I totally understand your dilemma I don't think that it's sad and I don't think that you're being like a quote-unquote bad friend because you're not confronting her right away because I think you're being really smart to collect as much like thought and emotion and feelings and like processing those before you go and tell her because at the end of the day it is her relationship she gets to do whatever she wants and what's scary is something I've learned is people will drop people like flies. You think that you are loyal. There are times where people just change. People just change. We have no reason for it. There's, I don't even think they know the reason for it. It just, it just happens. And I'm just sitting here like, I don't know what you should do. Mm. I feel... I feel like as a best friend, you have every right to tell her all of these things because it comes from a concern. <sighs> At the end of the day, though, I do understand that it could cause issues with the friendship. It just sucks because I hope, I would hope that she, who is also your best friend, so she considers you her best friend, that you wouldn't do this to hurt her. But I'm kind of like, I don't know. Has she come back to complain a lot more? Okay, with this situation, I would tell them. Um, I've also been that in my other friendships. I have been the one to tell them because when you're in love, you're blind as hell. And I know a lot of people have been not, maybe not in love, but you've liked someone where you've done some dumb shit, Okay. When you really like someone, you really do dumb shit and you just can't help it. And she is in, she is in like la la land. Okay. This is like the biggest dream come true for her. She's been manifesting this. Okay. It is really happening for her. I need, I need more wine for this. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Okay. I would wait for the perfect timing. So in my head, the perfect timing is. Okay. Here's the perfect timing. The perfect timing is you wait for your best friend to complain. Mm -hmm. That is the perfect time because that is the only moment that she is not blinded by the love, okay, by the whatever grasp he has on her. And look, here's the thing. If she's not complaining about the fact that she has literally a 10-year-old boy living with her because she does the laundry and she washes the dishes and et cetera, et cetera, then let her live with it, okay? She wants it badly enough to whatever the reason she stays in. Here's two reasons why people aren't complaining openly to their best friend. One, because they're truly happy and they don't see a problem. Two, because they know their best friend's going to tell them the logic and they don't want to hear it, okay? That's the only reason. Please comment down below if you guys do have ways on how to go about this, how you went about it, if you've been in the same situation. There are two ways I can go about it. When they complain, that's when I'm just up front and like throw everything at them because that's the only time that they are like leveled with you. They can finally see some light through the glasses, the blinding love glasses. Or if you wanna be more cautious, every so often that she is frustrated or you know she's just kind of letting go and coping, I would kind of say or question things like, oh, like it doesn't bother you that like he doesn't really help with A, B, and C. And she'll give a response and then I'll kind of just dig through that way. And I feel like that's just more of an approachable way of getting her to talk and trusting you. But let's get real. The only way you can go about this sensitive conversation is by not getting defensive when she backs her relationship up because it is her relationship at the end of the day. In her mind, everything her boyfriend is to her is literally a dream come true. So you doubting her right now is going to make her not only hate you because you are hating on her boyfriend, but then she's also going to feel like 
you're attacking her and she's not smart enough to see this. So it's very hard. I totally understand. To get some more input, I also asked Instagram, do you think your bestie has a right to say anything about your relationship? Okay. And let me just say, we got a lot. Okay. So let's start from the bottom and just kind of work our way through and skim through. Okay. Yes. If they're really looking out for you and if they are a true friend and not low key hating, I did see that multiple times. So a reoccurring thing is, yes, your bestie does have a right to say something as long as you're not, there's no undertone of like negativity or anything like that. Depends. If it's truly detrimental, hurtful, and not healthy, they should step in. Okay. So maybe those are some things to think of. Yeah. If she sees something toxic and I don't, please Lord tell me, LOL. Even though she was upset at first, once her relationship ended, she would thank me for not holding back. Yes. She's the other half. I would want her opinion. They can give input, but ultimately my bestie will decide. Opinions are always okay, but to a certain extent. Don't tell me what I should or should not do. I like that. Okay. Be very attentive to point out obvious things, but that's very important to not put any blame or don't tell her what to do or don't tell her what not to do because then I, I assume your friend is going to take it as like, okay, so you're calling me dumb because I do these things or you're saying that he's using me because I do X, Y, and Z, you know? So you just have to be really careful about the way that you word these things. My bestie can say anything. I don't have to always agree. I love that. Besties are besties, okay? At the end of the day, my best friend's gonna tell me, like Kim is my best friend. She's gonna give me input that I don't wanna hear, okay? We all like and don't like certain things. Kim and I are very also opinionated. That does not mean I take her opinions like to heart and I do exactly what she said because I believe she's right. No, I take it into consideration. I think about it. I wonder why she said it. I, I try to figure out and think about the ways that I can implement it into my life. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, you live your own life. Oh my God, I'm dying. Yes, especially if my BFF's getting used. Example, men who don't carry their weight financially, disgusting. Honestly, not about the financial part because I don't know about their finances, but she is carrying the weight with the whole household thing. Like, geez, why don't you just put a ring on it and give her a kid too? And like, she can still do all the housework. Like, make her a stay-at-home wife. Only if their partner is abusive. So take that into consideration. I'm not too sure if that's something that's going on in the relationship, but definitely no abuse. Abuse and you're done. If you're my bestie, I'm never going to let you stay in abuse. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to bring it up. There's just so much, but it all looks like pretty much the same thing. I guess all I have to leave you with is what makes you, like, what is your purpose for telling her? If your purpose is, I just want my best friend to know that she is getting used because she doesn't, or I feel like she doesn't really see it, then tell her. I think that like all in good timing, obviously, but as a best friend, that's what you're there for. I wish the writer a good luck. I hope that if you do have the conversation, it goes really well. I hope that your friend takes it and really sees it as love, you know, because that's what it is at the end of the day. You love her and you cherish her and you want her to live her best life. So I hope that it plays out the way that you want it to. But regardless, if it doesn't, it's okay because you did what you were supposed to and you are doing what any best friend would want to do for their best friend. So I totally understand. Thank you so much for writing me. Make sure to comment down below if you guys are going through something similar or if you've gone through something similar and how the friend reacted or if you've gone through something like it and you have some advice on what you would have done differently or anything like that, please comment down below. Before I go, I just want to remind you guys the email to tell me more is down below. If not, it's just tmm.m yc at gmail.com so tmm dot my initials at gmail.com thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time bye